This is Gene Key for KDD Texas News. The Associated Press reports police are racing to find a Dallas area rapist appears to be preying on members of a national black sorority have released a written timeline of the attacks and additional details about surveillance video. Police say the video, which was previously released, is of a man who called one of the Plano victims from a convenience store payphone in Mesquite to inquire about her welfare after the April attack. Plano police spokeswoman Heather Broden says the victim doesn't know him. We want to talk to this guy pretty bad. Detectives have definite DNA profile of the suspect. Police in Plano, Koppel, and Corneth are investigating at least four sexual assaults, all involving black women in their mid-50s to mid-60s who are Delta Sigma Theta members. Community opposition has deterred an Austin company from building a nuclear material storage site in Husbeth County. AFCI Texas has planned to use land near Fort Hancock for temporary storage of used fuel rods. But according to a story in Sunday's edition of the El Paso Times, the company decided not to use the site after county officials told them residents would oppose the project. The company's management partner, Bill Jones, says officials from the state general land office suggest the company explore state-owned land in Huspeth County because it's far from heavily populated areas and underground aquifers. Jones says the company planned to store the rods above ground and to extract reusable uranium from the material on state-owned land. From KHOU.com, a Texas man has been sentenced to 80 years in prison for trying to buy movie theater hot dogs with counterfeit cash. Charles Cleveland Nowden was sentenced Friday, two days after being convicted of forgery. He must serve at least 15 years before he's eligible for parole. This is Gene Key for KDD Texas News.